courtesy of here, one of the uh, sports cartilage and uh, knee preservation surgeons. Uh, so today we're going to show a video testimonial. This is a really young patient, 15 years old. They unfortunately had their meniscus removed laterally, um, almost the entire thing, about a year before. And what happened is they developed rapid changes in their cartilage. Uh, and as a result, we were kind of forced in a situation where we had to consider doing a meniscus transplant at a really young age. And there's limited data on this, but when done properly and for the right reason, you can spare the growth plates and protect the cartilage um, in the long run because at 15 without a meniscus is a big, big problem. So you can see we did a meniscus transplant on them, lateral side, replaced it, and they've done very well. And now they're back to soccer. You can see the parents also are involved in the decision-making process. And again, the biggest thing here is just understanding that, you know, there's a lot of discussion that goes into this preoperatively on what the best thing is for the patient. And really it's a decision between us and the patient on what to do. Um, so hopefully you enjoy the video testimonial and I'm pretty excited to show them off. Thanks. 14 and I was playing a soccer game um, late January. And I had a soccer game, I landed on my knee after tackling a guy and I landed and I twisted it and I uh, tore my meniscus. So first we went and got the surgery, it was, um, Dutch had to clean it up, took part of it out, and I was thinking, they told me four weeks, four to six weeks, and I was expecting to come back. Then I come back, and I noticed that my knee's swelling a bunch, and I'm trying to get to play, but I still couldn't, because uh, I had to go on crutches again for another six weeks. Then afterwards, we looked at and talked to Dr. Garcia, and we decided to get the transplant. And this was late September. Symptoms what I had were my leg would swell up after a little bit of walking. I would have pain clicking and popping in my knee. A lot of, it was annoying and a lot of pain I had. And then, you know, the recovery, uh, it was one month on crutches. I wasn't, you know, able to move it. But afterwards, after that one month, we started progressively doing physical therapy to uh, strengthen it. I was immediately able to walk. I had no pain, no um, uh, pain in the knee or clicking or popping or any of that. Uh, swelling was slowly going down after the surgery, from the surgery, um, and then um, we did more physical therapy, focusing on the strengthening, and recovering was a lot, really, really, like, really good. I was diff completely different change. I felt like I had a lot more strength in my knee, mobility, being able to move it around, stuff I haven't been able to do in like a year, so it felt really great. So, uh, Afshin's experience was a total roller coaster for us from initial injury thinking that, you know, obviously as parents, you think of the worst when you have such major, major injury. We're a little bit relieved that it was just a meniscus, but after the major meniscectomy and not being, for him not be able to recover as much, um, then you start thinking long-term what he can do. We got to a point where a lot of the normal things for the, for the action was going to be out of the question in terms of, you know, playing soccer, um, just basically daily stuff. So walking, he would get swelling right away. He couldn't play soccer with his brothers or do any type of activities with his siblings. Um, so it really affected his quality of life. Um, and our biggest thing was to make sure like if this meniscal transplant was going to be done, that the proper techniques were done with the slot and groove, which was really important to us. And also he's growing, making sure it doesn't go through his growth plate. That was really important that he had all the right pieces in place. And after doing our research, we found Dr. Garcia, who did do those techniques and was very experienced in it. And, and also being very realistic as to what our expectation should be. It was going to be a long-term process and to mentally be set for that. Um, uh, that, was, that was really helpful for us. And uh, The prospect and, like that he may not be able to return to soccer or you know, just not knowing where right. this will take us since it's very unique to have a 15 year old have this type of surgery done. And that was another concern of ours, him right. being so young. How long would this last? How well would he do? And what the recovery would be. Right. But it was, it's such a relief now looking back as to how well it went, how the recovery went, the organization in terms of um, following with physical therapy, regular appointments, and again, uh, that expectation as to where were we going to go and, and how far we've come? Have you guys are you guys happy with the process? Extremely yeah. happy with the process. See just the, to see, see, see him, a smile on his face. A smile on his face <laughs> <laughs> of him just doing the things. Like just a couple of weeks ago, they were playing 
um, soccer again, him and his dad and his two brothers, which they hadn't done for over a year and a half. Yeah, we so, haven't done 2v2 in a long time. In a long time. So just seeing him do that and just be a kid and be able to return back to play and have that quality life that he really missed this year and a half has been amazing um, for everyone in the family. So um, we're ready to see what other things he'll be able to do now. Uh, right now I can finally get back to the stuff I'm doing. I tried out wake surfing. I get to play soccer again. Um, I get to go on a trampoline. I finally went on a trampoline after like a year and a half of not do, being able to do anything. Trying out all sorts of stuff with this knee. Everything's just feeling great and a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Are you happy? Oh, yeah, really happy, yeah.